Hello Aquarius. We're doing something a little different here uh, for Halloween, a love jack-o'-lantern reading. So this is kind of using the pumpkin face, pumpkin head <laughs> of a jack-o'-lantern um, for a reading. And there are five cards we're going to pull. I'll uh, read them off so you have some idea what's coming. Number one is what will open your love life. So it is love focused because my channel, well, my channel is about love. This particular channel is all about love. All right, so uh, that's like the top of the pumpkin that you pull off. So what will open your love life? Um, we have the two eyes. Two and three are the two eyes. The first one is the eye that disguises. And by that, I mean kind of um, the veneer that you put on. Um, kind of your social veneer, you know, and you slowly let people in, or maybe you quickly let people in. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have an eye that reveals, and that's something that we usually are interested in showing people. As we get to know them, we want them to see our true selves. However, the eye that reveals can be an unintentional revealing. For example, when you are engaged in some activity that um, you really love, especially with a person that you're interested in, then your entire being kind of lights up and reveals kind of your inner passion. So number four is your instincts in love. So that's for the nose of the pumpkin. And that the idea is, you know, you follow your nose, those are your instincts in love. That can be, um, that card can be interpreted either as um, the kind of person or um, kind of, yeah, the kind of person or situation that draws you. Uh, it can also be your reaction when you start to feel the intense emotions of love. What is your instinctual reaction to that? Is it pulling back? Is it moving forward? What is it? Um, number five is a truth that needs to be spoken, and that, of course, has to do with the mouth of the pumpkin. So let's see, what will open your love life? And this card has been attracting me. You have to um, feel like you have something to give, and the other person has something to give. The Six of Pentacles is about give and take. So you need to feel like you're particularly financially on equal footing with someone. Um, that they can give sometimes and you can give sometimes. That there's equality there. So that's important to you. Um, some of you might be in a, well, could be either way, either a, a financial, financially advantageous position or a position where you're lacking money. And that that needs, um, if you're lacking money, then, you know, what, what this card essentially means is that your love life will open up when you meet somebody who is not afraid to spend some money on the dating process. If you have money, then you need to be with somebody who will allow you to treat them sometimes. And that's what I mean by equality, that it's not just one, one direction. Um, that you need to be able to show what you've achieved and to be able to treat them sometimes without them objecting. So, and appropriately, in some ways, kind of intellectual decision regarding balance for you air sign Aquariuses. Um, and actually, I could see this too for what would open your love life because this is about balance and in a traditional tarot deck it's about socioeconomic balance. That getting involved in that kind of a cause, being Aquarians, will open your love life. So finding a cause that has to do with balancing um, economic injustices. I think only an Aquarius would have that as part of their uh, what will open their love life. Number two, the eye that disguises. The 
Five of Pentacles. So we just had the Six of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is um, a feeling of not having enough. Um, this can also be a feeling of isolation in, and I could see this with Aquarius, is, um, because you tend to be so far ahead of others, it, it results in some isolation. But one of the keys to the Five of Pentacles is that, and this can mean a lack, a financial lack of money as well. So you may be a little fixated if you do have a lack of money, you're fixated on the limitations that creates for you in terms of what you can do with someone and you use that as a, as a block. Or, you know, maybe you don't want to be with me because I'm not somebody obsessed with money, you know, or um, just, yeah, it's just as a boundary setter. But um, as I was saying, with the Five of Pentacles, there is this thing, is that you could stand up and you could go walking in the city. I mean, you could do that. You could go ask for help if you need it, All right? So an interesting pair of cards, the give and take, and then somehow feeling isolated or unable to, you know, in a financially difficult situation, is one of the ways that you disguise your emotion or you create boundaries. Um, you know, maybe that's your boundary so that you don't have to seek love. Well, I really can't afford to be dating, so never mind. <laughs> it's kind of like denying your your need for connection and and love through saying, ah, I, and I get that. I do get that. That you know, I don't have the money to be dating because I have certainly been in that situation but here they're saying that you're using it um, to avoid your emotional needs I think I that reveals Ooh, the moon so I'm thinking about that I'm particularly noticing you know, that's a dog, so there's the domestic side and there's the wild side. The dog and the wolf is what that's supposed to represent there. The eye that reveals. It's interesting because it's reminding me of the Sagittarius reading. It's essentially that there are two different aspects to yourself. There's kind of the domestic, tame, practical side, and then there's the wild side, and I feel like the wild side, and even in the domestic dog there, the moon is bringing out the wild side, and so what, I feel like what reveals, what is revealing is when, uh, and it's not necessarily entertainment, but I feel like it's whatever you do at night. Whatever you do when the sun goes down and the moon comes up and you are free to do whatever you want to do. And that's when you are truly yourself. And so if you were to, say, have um, a relationship with somebody um, or be interested in somebody, say you start to date somebody from work, they're going to kind of see this, maybe they'll see this about you, but it's not until you guys go out at night, roaming, so to speak, or something, you do something after hours, that's when they're going to see the real Aquarius. I think there's probably more we could dig into there, but I do try to keep my, um, my readings fairly brief. And so we got a couple more cards to go here. Your instincts in love. Nine of Pentacles. So you're, it's interesting to me when a certain, like you guys are air sign, and you're getting lots of pentacles. And again, you are kind of reminding me of the, well, there are a couple of other signs that got a lot of cards from an an elemental suit that is not their astrological element. 
which could just mean that that this is lacking, um, this aspect of things is lacking. So your instincts in love is to, to actually go for somebody who is um, established or they've created a home for themselves. Um, that's what the pentacles, the nine of pentacles is uh, a woman who is comfortable. She's comfortable with herself, she's comfortable with her circumstances, and that sort of thing attracts you. It could also be that you don't feel like you can totally express yourself until you have reached this level of independence so that you kind of you have your own goal um, and this would you know something that used to be true of men is that they would have to reach a certain level of financial stability before they would consider um, you know taking on a wife and family and so you might not even be thinking marriage and family but you're just thinking relationship and dating you feel like you need to reach a certain level of being established before you can reveal who you are or see your own value which is curious because Aquarians your value is a lot in your um, originality you know it's and so there's an interesting if it's somebody that you're seeking it's a it's a fine balance but if you're feeling you need to accomplish this for yourself before you're a person of value then then you're not realizing how valuable you are just who you are forget about the Pentacles but that's those are your in your instincts in love five truth that needs to be spoken I feel like that one might be hiding a little bit is it that one maybe so eight of cups somehow some of you need to go find yourself and this can be that's this is to me is this is the go find yourself card it's it's not that you lack love relationships but there's something missing and it has to do with you and kind of your spiritual journey through life if if you're in a relationship this means you might need to speak with your spouse and say you know I you know there's nothing wrong with our relationship but something is missing for me and I need to visit India <laughs> I don't know what it is but you need to kind of get away and uh, do some finding of yourself and again it can be just a trip to the you know the tarot speaks in dramatic terms and some of us don't have this level of drama in our lives it could just be that you need to go to the art museum every every week for a month for some reason that you don't even understand <laughs> um, so you're not to question this it's it's a it's its own trip its own emotional spiritual trip so that's what this is saying the truth needs to be spoken you need to go on an emotional spiritual trip sometimes this is uh, something that you need to admit to yourself as well so there you go that is your love jack-o-lantern reading I hope you found it insightful I'm happy to hear any place I was either on target or off base down in the comments again this is a, a channel that is devoted to love readings um, I will be there's down in the information box below the video is the schedule for the readings because I don't do them all in one week like some people do I because of my own schedule I do certain ones in certain weeks throughout the month um, so those are the monthly and I do both a singles and a relationship reading for every sign each month and I'm thinking about wanting to do um, dailies as well not for each sign but just um, daily questions about love so subscribe if love is an important part of your life right now seeking love 
um, balancing love, managing your love life, go ahead and subscribe. Have a wonderful Halloween, and um, I will see you whenever it's scheduled down in the information box below. Bye-bye.